Hi guys, Renaissance here, and I'm so excited. I just wanted to do a very quick video about my new braids. So I have been researching for a little bit of time for some plant-based hair, and I know that there are plant-based companies out there. There's one I found in Africa that I really, really like. There's also um, the Rebundle brand. Um, but I did a little something different. I was at Hobby Lobby, and I have been thinking about whether I wanted to try the banana fiber hair or if I wanted to just do yarn braids. And guys, I went with yarn braids, the I Love Cotton Hobby Lobby Super Soft Cotton Fiber Cotton Yarn in a very soft chocolatey brown. I just finished them today. I started last night and I worked until about 5 a.m., took a nap, woke up, had a Zoom meeting, and right after my Zoom meeting, I went ahead and finished my braids. I just got out of the shower. They were a little um, heavy, of course, because it's cotton, especially when they're like wet, wet, but I've already gone through with a towel and blotted a lot of the braids. And then I'm on my way to go outside to run some errands and I'm going to be out all day. So I'm going to look forward to seeing how they air dry. Um, and as a matter of fact, right now, I'm just going to spray um, this concoction that I have that has um, clove essential oil and grapefruit essential oil. There's a tiny bit of avocado oil in here with distilled water and I'm just going to go ahead and just spray it on my scalp and spray it not on all of the cotton, although it'll make it smell really good, but I'm just going to spray it on my hair. Um, if you guys watch my other videos, you will know that last year, August 5th, I completely shaved all my hair off. I had my brother cut it for me. There is a video about that. It's been quite a journey. What I noticed is that um, it grew really fast. In the first six months, I got like an inch a month, and um, but then it was like, then it was stunted a little bit. Um, because I had, I was in Charleston doing a lot of washing of it. Then when I finally got to Utah, which is, that's where I am now, um, being back in the desert and dealing with a little bit more hard water, I realized that I was washing my hair too much. So I was drying it out. And while I love clarification, I really just had to go into co-washing. And so then my best friend, oh, I forgot I had a Okay. <laughs> and then my best friend, Maria, who is Mexican, introduced me to this black garlic shampoo and conditioner that sold at the uh, Pharmacia Natura uh, Naturales in um, the Plaza de Mexico in Los Angeles. So whenever I would go home to visit, I stopped by the plaza and I picked up the shampoo. I picked up the conditioner, which also has camphor in it and it has menthol in it so you get that little tingly um, sensation on your scalp so I started using that shampoo and I used the shampoo first for one month and then I went back to Los Angeles and got the conditioner I'm absolutely in love with the system this is what the system looks like the shampoo and the conditioner you can see the black garlic you can see there's some black garlic there some coconut um, and again the menthol and the camphor this is liquefied I'm literally almost out of shampoo I'm pretty much done with this so then with the conditioner what I've been doing is just co-washing and it's been nice as a leave-in too because I have been doing um, my two strand twist that's what I've mainly been doing but October is gonna be a pretty busy month and um, I really wanted to go ahead and get some braids in so that I would not have to deal with my hair at all. And you know, once um, the hair gets long enough to be braided, we can go ahead and go into braids. But I absolutely did not want to wear plastic hair 
anymore. Um, and I'm going to be doing more hair videos. It's been such a long time since I've done hair videos, but there's so much that I definitely want to address. A lot of things that I see in other videos um, and also things that I see in comment sections that I think maybe some of our um, sisters have not really thought about in terms of um, even like the rice water of the, the long hair village um, in China. And um, there's a lot of factors that play a role in using that formula, same as the, the women of Chad, what I, which I think is like super amazing, super wonderful with the system that they have. And I've kind of gone back and studied both of those cultures again and watched some documentaries just last week um, before I flew out. If you guys don't know, or just as a reminder, I've been working as a flight attendant for, um, for a year now and I, coming up in October, I have retraining, recurrent. It's been going really well. Um, I've been really happy with just the traveling and the travel vlog. So if you get a chance to see my Renaissance Travels playlist, then, um, you know, go go ahead and take a look at it. <laughs> if you haven't had a chance to see it, definitely go take a look at it. But I am definitely going to be addressing some hair issues, but oh my gosh, I was uh, initially going to purchase black yarn, but I was like, you know, I really want to go with something really soft. And I was thinking of dyeing my own hair, like going back to a really pretty golden light auburn, but I just didn't want to go through that whole process. So this right here is just, it, it's really beautiful. It's my first time using cotton fiber on myself. I have used um, acrylic yarn, or I might have used cotton fiber on my brother when he had locks way back in the day, but <laughs> he's super bald right now. Um, but yeah, so just out the shower, hair is damp. Um, can't wait to see what it looks like when it dries. And the thing is, it looks like the cotton fiber has been dipped. Like once I wet it, all in the shower um it just like real it was like silky like human hair um and i do think that the type of cotton fiber matters because there are um like when you go to any one of the hobby lobbies joanne's michaels there's a variety of ways that the um fibers are spun and however many plies there are so i was looking at a few styles of cotton cotton yarn and I went ahead and went with this one so I just kind of did this on a whim so but at least I had it um I love this cotton and just it's really really soft I believe this is three ply um or it could be a smaller micro four ply the way that it's fun there's a slight slight little sheen on it but otherwise it gives mostly um a matte like 90 95 percent matte look especially when it's dry with just like a 10 5 to 10 percent little sheen on it so um and then this color is uh it says brown <laughs> it's like milk chocolate brown so it's like the ultimate brown of all browns so it was really really pretty and warm so guys look forward to some more hair videos coming out like i do get busy and then i'm not busy and um believe me i've been writing down i've been writing down so many topics that i will be talking about um especially when it comes to hair and just as a reminder i know i say this in a lot of videos but for anyone who's new to my channel i am retired uh hairstylist hair um braid stylist weaves extensions everything of 30 years and um like officially officially uh, finally retired and um, also attended cosmetology school. So graduated from there and you know spent a lot of years dealing with hair. So the technical knowledge that I have of um, hair 
and um, the chemistry of it, the biology of how it all works, how we're all different, and these hair growth journeys, which I've tried to be on so many times, right? But there's also a lot of things that play a role in terms of health, what we eat. I am um, vegan now of... Oh, wow. I think it's been over two years now, like two and a half years. So generally my skin is better. I don't really have to worry about weight anymore since I went vegan. Um, I mean, I just, I eat and I don't um, have inflammation or I don't gain weight the way that I used to back in the day when I was on dairy um, and any other animal products and also especially gluten. I'm pretty much gluten sensitive, not super intolerant. There's ways around it with like green tea and, and other hot teas, hibiscus tea. Um, but for the most part, recently, what I've noticed with this system, with the shampoo especially, is that it really, it did help to restart the growth faster again and also thickening my hair up. Okay, so that happened when I went ahead and got this system then it was, it was the catalyst that I needed to like push it along because my, um, my anniversary was coming up like a month before August of this year. And I wanted to really push to get another inch, which you can, you can push the growth if you really put the time and effort into it. And I really got the inch that I wanted by August 5th of this year to celebrate one year of me cutting my hair all the way down. And so then what I also noticed is that because again, I'm here in the desert, I went back and I started using the Palmer's cocoa butter, like Palmer's um, lotion products because I noticed that when I was living in Rancho Cucamonga in um, Los Angeles, in California, that um, the hard water, the desert dryness was really like making me itch really bad. So then here in Utah, I was having a similar problem and I went ahead and just went back to the Palmers. But one day, you know, I'm putting the Palmers on my skin, my ankles, knees, all this stuff. And I'm doing my hair, I'm doing my two strand twist. And one day I was like, you know, I'm just gonna put this cocoa butter on my ends. I think I had ran out of aloe vera gel or something and you know sometimes you just get the notion and that's how it is for all of us and when i started doing that in conjunction with this system less shampooing so i don't dry my hair out <clears throat> more co-washing so that i retain more moisture and then uh twisting my hair with um the palmer's cocoa butter which is right here So I'm twisting my hair with this along with having some black garlic conditioner on there. And when I tell you that, when I started adding this, especially to the last like two inches of my um, two strand twist, that's when I really started to notice like continuous growth. And it's crazy because <clears throat> excuse me, even though a person can go, like, can have knowledge or go to cosmetology school and do hair for many, many years, like, I, because of my sensitive blood type and the type of system that I have, my immunity and digestive system, like, and my levels of cortisol are naturally really high because of my blood type, I was having an issue for years i was having an issue trying to keep like right here this section one two this section right here on the side of my head would always be a, a stressor section so i would deal with thinness right here and like right in this little area i would deal with thinness um but then Again, once I started this um, system with this Mexican shampoo and conditioner, um, I noticed a difference. Then also, I have been using doTERRA essential oils. 
one day I go to the app and I just decide to put in hair growth, right? The one option that it gave me was grapefruit essential oil. And again, I, I mean, I'm doing so much. I'm not, I'm sort of in and out of it, but I was like, wait a minute. It could be the YouTube algorithm where you look up one thing about like ginger and cloves and then there's more videos about ginger and cloves. And I know that there's like teas. I've used ginseng teas. I, I've been using the green tea on my hair just like I did for my niece. And there's a video about that as well. Um, my reaction to the green tea is slightly different than how we were able to grow my niece's hair back. So the green tea is very soothing for my scalp and I just think it helps with stress. But for me, it's better if I drink more of the green tea, like internally to help bring um, my stress down more from the internal to the outside. So then guys, <laughs> grapefruit essential oil so i start taking this i put some in here i'm gonna spray it but i'm just gonna show you how i took some of this when i started using the grapefruit essential oil especially on my stressor section you know how we have four sections back back front front so here front right is where i usually have a lot of issues when i tell you you can feel that citrusy grapefruity sensation and I would not have been able to put a braid like right here or right here if I had not been using the grapefruit for some time so this literally all started thickening think <laughs> can we say thickening up um so I start doing this every morning and when I tell you I could feel it I could feel it and I promise you my hair from the moment I've been using the grapefruit has been thickening up and I just kind of dab it tap it but I'm gonna I don't want to use it full strength here because I put in this solution we have distilled water so i put um 40 drops of grapefruit essential oil and i have 25 drops of clove bud really nice and stimulating and there's a slight bit of avo, avocado oil in here i did not condition with this i don't think i'm going to condition with this cotton hair i'm just going to spray I'm going to shampoo, and mind you, this shampoo is pretty moisturizing. Clarifying, but moisturizing. And I had to do a little bit of compromising because I love super clarified scalp, super clarified hair, but my hair was just doing better with co-washing. So I just had to be accepting of that. I will only use distilled water or spring water when you're making your any kind of concoction. Super sterilized, purified water. Spring water works great too. It smells super good. And then also, I mean, because this is cotton, the cotton is going to soak up this nice fragrance. And, you know, <laughs> when I'm out and about, I would love... For people to be like, oh my gosh, your hair smells so good, what? <laughs> and this is just enough. So the spritzer on these bottles, you know, you can find them at Sprouts or any one of the Whole Foods Mothers, wherever you are in the United States, Earth Fair, um, any one of the stores that have essential oils section should also have like the rollers and have all of these too. Ugh, that's my work tablet going off. Uh, my scalp feels so good. Let's put a little bit more here in the front. I've got a little baby hairs. Yeah, so this area has really grown in. I was able to fit this little one right here. 
because it's a little trouble area. But also, both me and my sister get this from our dad. Like, our dad kind of receded in the temple area right here. So the hair, as we get older, it just becomes, like, softer in this area and becomes super babyish. My niece sort of deals with the same thing. But I've been spraying and... I've been very happy with the results. Also, one last thing before I go. Um, another thing that I started adding again into my diet, because it seems like for me, a lot of progress or when I have good success is also with what I consume through my mouth. And... Um, I started adding, let's see, I went ahead and got some activated charcoal. Yeah, so I've been, which helps again with my intestines and, um, oh yeah, it, it can be a little linty. It's cotton yarn. So I'm going to have to like carry a lint brush with me, but we'll see how, how tedious that is in the whole process while I wear while I wear the braids, but it's cotton and it. I mean, cotton is known to be a little linty. Um, so I also noticed with, I've been doing activated charcoal in like my morning mocha, which is, um, I've been doing sucanat and coconut sugar, but sucanat is like the first, it's basically like crystallized, um, molasses, which is the first burning of the raw cane. And, um, which is short for sugar in the natural, I think, sucanat. Yeah, uh, sugar cane natural, natural sugar cane. Suka, not, yeah, C-A. So it's S-U-C-A-N-A-T. <laughs> so, um, sh sugar natural, I mean, sugar cane natural. That's, it's kind of cute. That's like a cute name. <laughs> Ooh, like I can feel it. It is tingling right now. And I'm telling you, that tingle every time, every time, I mean, I see it, it's thickening up, new little, like, baby fibers are growing in. Um, and I also have noticed that I've been doing the activated charcoal for about, yeah, probably a month and a half. And I have noticed, like, with adding that to my sucanat, which is the sweetener, I do walnut, not walnut milk or oat, oat milk with um you know a coffee substitute cocoa i've been waiting for the cara powder to come but some of the uh, supply chains are a little slow but i'm going to be switching over from um, unsweetened cocoa to the cara powder which comes from the cara tree it's just another alternative um because the cara the cocoa powdered does sort of get me going like how caffeine is so like i move from caffeine to cocoa and then i'm gonna be moving to carob <laughs> so um but i would do like um, roma or petal and um i've add spirulina to it i just got some more spirulina and i just shake it up and i have it like iced and I just have this nice mix, you know. I mean, there's a lot of things out there, cachava and rice. And sometimes I put, like, little mushroom powders in there. Turkey tail and maitake is my most beneficial mushroom. So this nice little morning drink where I sip on it all day is full of just a lot of things. Fibers, the grains that I need, a um, little bit of sweetness, the walnut milk, which is good for intestines, good for good for the brain as well. Um, so yeah, so for the most part, um, those are all the things that I've been doing and I'm just continuing to work on it inside, outside wise. I'm happy with my growth and, um, yeah, my new braid. So I'll keep you guys posted on, uh, wearing the cotton fiber, just a nice natural fiber. And, um, I will talk later about the plastic hair and I know some people just will not hear me but there are definitely a lot of um, environmental issues already and this is one that is being discussed because you know the plant-based hair companies are coming up I know like the the newest one is still pretty new 
and they're doing pre-orders. So as far as I know now, I know of three, you know, one in Africa and I think two here in the U.S. And um, it is definitely going to change. So uh, this video has been like too long already, <laughs> but God bless you guys. Um, I'll see you soon and have a beautiful day. Bye.